then we have more problems on finding the nth term which we know is dn which is a plus n minus 1 into d. Let's see what we have in store. Okay, the nth element of the sequence 1, 3, 5, 7 which we did in any case is nothing but 2n minus 1. In the previous example we did 2n minus 1. And it is interesting to note this is also the formula for the nth odd number, right, odd natural number. And yes, we do have 2n minus 1. Okay, here we have another interesting example, the nth element of the sequence minus 1, 2, minus 4, 8 and so on is so and so. Now this if you see is not, is it an AP? We have to check 2 minus minus 1, 2 minus minus 1 is 3, minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. So 3 is not equal to minus 6, so it is not an AP. We have to check whether it is a GP, 2 upon minus 1, minus 4 upon 2, 8 upon minus 4. If you see, all these are equal to minus 2. So that means this is a geometric progression, where the first term is minus 1 and the common ratio R is nothing but minus 2. So it's going to be minus 1 is the first term and common ratio is minus 2. So the first thing, suppose they don't specify it's an AP or GP, take care to verify whether it is an AP or GP. If you do not verify, you may end up making a huge mistake and get the whole solution haywire. So in that case, TN, if you remember, is going to be AR raised to N minus 1. So, we have in that case Tn is going to be minus 1 into R that is minus 2 raised to N minus 1. So, it's going to be among these you have minus 1 into minus 2 raised to N minus 1 which can also be written as minus 1 raised to N and minus 2. So, this is going to be minus 1 into minus 2 raised to n minus 1. So, the nth term, I'm sorry, Tn is going to be minus 1, that is a, into r raised to n minus 1, minus 2 raised to n minus 1. So, among these, this is the right option. Let's check it. Yes, we do have it that way. Right. Furthermore, we have which term of the progression minus 1, minus 3, minus 5 is minus 39? Now, one point I would like to uh, mention at this stage is candidates have a tendency that when you have a tendency to keep doing things in a serial order, you tend to forget that you need to verify whether this is an AP or a GP. So, the previous one, although we are right now into arithmetic progression, the previous one was deliberately introduced to catch you napping because often you will tend to think that it is a GP, it is an AP, well actually it is a GP. So the previous question was specifically told for you to verify first whether it is an AP or a GP. Otherwise, your entire formula, the nth term formula and the sum of the n term formulas, anything could go wrong. Now, hence let's do this because it's told progression. If they say AP, we don't have to worry about it. Here if you see minus 3 minus minus 1 is minus 2, minus 5 minus of minus 3 is minus 2. So there is D exists here. So it is minus 2 because it's going to be minus 3 minus of minus 1 which is minus 2. So D is minus 2. A is going to be minus 1. And it's been given which term is minus 39? That is Tn is minus 39. In that case, n, what would be n? So, we use the nth term formula Tn is a plus n minus 1 into d. So, we substitute the various values. Tn is minus 39. a is minus 1 plus n minus 1 into minus 2. Right? So, it will be minus 39 is minus 1 minus 2n plus 2. So, this gives you what is minus 39 plus 1 minus 2 is minus 2n. So, n will turn out to be minus 40 upon minus 2 which is going to be 20. 
t. So that means the 20th term of this progression, which we have verified as an arithmetic progression, is minus 39. The 20th term is minus 39. So that means among these, this is the right answer. And yes, that's what we get it by verifying too. Right, furthermore, we have, so what we have here is a situation like this. The last term of the series, 5, 7, 9, 2, 21 terms is so and so. Here, do not mistake, if it is just told last term, that means you need to find Tn. Tn has to be found out. 5, 7, 9, 2, 21 terms. So, n is 20. Unlike the previous question where it was, this had to be taken as tn. If you see the format of the question, it says the last term of the series so and so is this. That means 5, 7, 9 till the 21st term. The last term, if you make a series of all these till the 21st term, that is tn is what when n is 21. So, do not do that mistake. So, read the sum in totality. Last term has been asked, that is tn has been asked and 21. Now, again, a in this case is 5, b is 7 minus 5, 2. Again, you need to verify. You see, there is a common difference existing. d is 2. So, tn is a plus n minus 1 into v. I keep writing this formula again and again so that it gets into your system. So, a is going to be 5 plus n in this case is 21 minus 1 into 2, which would be 5 plus 20 minus 21 minus 1, 20 into 2, 40, which turns out to be 45. That is, t21 is what we are talking. The 21st term is 45 and hence we do have it as 45 and yes we check see that what we did is right what is the next situation we have here we have if eighth term of an AP is 15 that is T8 is 15 then sum of its 15 terms we need to find S15 now, we don't know what the arithmetic progression is. We don't know what A is, what D is. But it doesn't matter. Without knowing, individually finding A and B, we can find S15. So, 2 T8 is 15. We use the formula Tn is A plus N minus 1 into D. That means T8, which is turning out to be 15, is nothing but A plus 8 minus 1, 7b. So, we have a plus 7b is equal to 15. We keep this aside as 1. We don't know what a is, we don't know what d is, but we need to find s15. So, we use the formula sn is n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Therefore, s15 would be 15 upon 2 into 2a plus 15 minus 1 into b. 15 minus 1 is 14. So, this turns out to be 15 by 2 into 2a plus 14d. Now, we don't know again what a and b is but are, but we can take 2 as a common factor and you get a plus 7d. 2 gets cancelled. Hence, you are left with 15 into a plus 7d. But we don't know a, we don't know what d is. But we know that a plus 7d is 15. So, hence we get this is going to be 15 into 15, which will be 225. So, this is a way of doing a particular, uh, attacking a particular question without individually finding a and b. So, 15 into 15 which is 25 and hence here is our right man and undoubtedly we got it right. Furthermore, okay, sum of n terms of an AP 
b two n squared is fine, then its nth term is what? Right. Now we need to find t n. Here it is given it's an a t. Now for finding t n, we should know what a is. We should know what b is. Without that, we can't find t n. But S1, that is the sum of the first term and the first term are one and the same. So if you have an AT like 1, 3, 5, 7, sum of the first term and T1 are one and the same. So if you, in the same formula, SN is equal to 2N square plus 5N. If you substitute 1 over here, you get 2 into 1 square plus 5 into 1. So that means 2 plus 5, which is 7. So the first term is 7, which means that A is 7. So we have found out A as 7. The next is we need to find D. Now to find D, how do we go about doing this? We know only the formula for the sum of the n term, that is Sn. We already know S1, that is this much. Suppose we are able to find S2. So S2 would be what? Using the same formula, it is going to be 2 into 2 square plus 5 into 2. That is 4 2 is 8 plus 10, which is 18. That is S2 is 18. Now S2 means the first term added to the second term. This total is 18. From that, if you subtract away the first term, you are bound to get the second term. So that means T2 is going to be S2 minus S1. S2 is 18, S1 is 7, so it turns out to be 11. So, the arithmetic progression goes as 7, 11 and so on and so forth. So, obviously, D is going to be 11 minus 7, which is 4. So, D is 4. So, to find the common difference, find up till the sec sum up till the second term, find sum up till the first term, find the difference. You could even do find sum up till the third term and then sum up till the second term, find the difference that will give you the common difference. So, D is 11 minus 7 which happens to be 4. Now, we know T n is A plus n minus 1 into D. So, which will turn out to be A, we know is 7 plus n minus 1 into d which is 4 which is 7 plus 4n minus 4 which is nothing but 4n plus 3. So we have 4n plus 3 as the nth term. So this is how we need to find the nth term. So among these options 4n plus 3 and surely that's going to be the right answer and yes we do have it that way. So this is, was an example to tell you how you can the, use the formula for Sn to find T1 and T2 and hence find the common difference. Right.